Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com. In yesterday's lesson, we took a look into technical analysis and uh, took a little very brief look into the different ways that traders analyze the markets. In today's lesson, we're going to take a short look into the history of technical analysis and something which is known as Dow Theory. Um, most consider the father of technical analysis to be Charles Dow, founder of Dow Jones and Company, which of course publishes the Wall Street Journal. Uh, around 1900, Dow was analyzing the movements of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Dow Jones Transportation Index, and he noticed that these two indexes tend to move in predictable ways over time, or similar ways over time. Um, and he outlined his findings in a series of papers which were expanded upon uh, by other traders in the years that follow, um, and these papers became known as Dow Theory. Um, Although Dow Theory was written over a hundred years ago, most of the basic principles which were outlined in those papers, uh, traders feel, or most traders feel, are still relevant today. Um, also, although you know, Dow focused his work on the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Dow Jones Transportation Index, uh, most traders also feel that these uh, basic principles are also relevant to any market, not just the stock market, and in particular those indexes. Um, so in today's lesson, um, we're going to take a look at the first three tenets of Dow Theory. There are six of them. Um, and then we're going to finish up our conversation on Dow Theory in tomorrow's lesson by looking at the last three. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first tenet of Dow Theory is that the markets have three trends. The first type of trend that Dow defined is what's known as an uptrend. Um, you can see an example of an uptrend there or a time when successive rallies in the security price close at levels higher than those achieved in previous rallies and when lows occur at levels higher than previous lows is how Dow defined that. <clears throat> Opposite of an uptrend is a downtrend, which is the second type of trend, and that's basically defined as when a market makes successive lower lows and lower highs. Pretty basic there. The next type of trend is a correction, um, and basically uh, Dow defined this as a move after the market makes a move sharply in one direction, <clears throat> then the market recedes in the opposite direction before continuing in its original direction. So you can see here market in an uptrend, then a correction, and then continuation of the original uptrend. It's a good example of a correction there. Tenet two is that trends have three phases, and probably the best example of this is a longer-term chart of the NASDAQ, um, and it's showing in the run-up into 2000. You can see the accumulation phase here, which is, when, which is the first phase, and when the expert traders, so to speak, are actively taking positions which are against the majority of, of traders. <coughs> And then the next phase being the public participation phase where the public at large catches on to what the experts, so to speak, know um, and begin trading in the same direction. A lot of times you see a pretty rapid price increase during this time. And then the last phase being the excess phase, and this is where rampant speculation catches on and basically um, the smart money people, so to speak, start or exiting their trades before the eventual reversal of the trend. Um, and you can see that there, and it's a good example of the NASDAQ of the excess phase. If you remember, people were just at the end of the trend were basically buying just in the hopes of selling to someone else at a higher price. Tenet three is that the markets discount all news, um, and this basically um, means that once news is released, it's already reflected, and it's reflected very quickly in the uh, price of an asset. So you can't. What Dow is saying here is you can't really beat the market by looking at fundamental factors, only by uh, technical factors. And this is in line with the efficient market hypothesis, which is listed there, um, and. Uh, technicians or people that use technical analysis often use this as an argument of in favor of their type of analysis because if the, if this is true, the efficient market hypothesis is true, um, then that really means you can't beat the market uh, using fundamental analysis, so technical analysis would be the only way that you could. So that's our lesson for today. Hopefully you have a good understanding of the first three tenets of Dow Theory, and I hope you join us tomorrow for the second three tenets, which we're going to go over in Lesson 3. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at informtrades.com or email me at david at informtrades.com. And have a great day.